first way to edit your photos or pretty much take your photos if you don't want to edit it is this app called Camin. It's on the App Store and I'll link it down below. Basically all you guys have to do is turn the flash on which is the lightning bolt like I'm doing here and then click the button with those uh, nine little dots and it will take the photo. I recommend flash because it gives you like all kinds of light effects and you might have to take a couple pictures but I think that this app works pretty well and gives you the desired effect. Like for example this is what the photo looks like without flash and with flash. So the second way I'm going to show you guys is using Visco. This is probably going to be the more popular option because you can edit your photos to look disposable after you've already taken them, whereas with the camera app you have to do it before you have to take the photos actually with that app. But I think you get like the desired look with this a little bit more too, so I'm going to be showing you guys with Visco. By the way, you can use pretty much any photo as long as it's not super edited, and you can just follow this tutorial and it will show you how to do it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is import your photo and then go to this bar button here as you do in Visco, and then scroll over and go to the filter M5 and then you can turn it down a little bit because I know it's very orange. I go to about 8 or 7 and then click on the plus button and then go to this effect here. You guys see on the bottom it's highlighted or this bar here so you can get all these different options. First what we're going to do is we're going to go to exposure and we're going to turn it down Around 3 or 4 is usually how much you're going to want to turn it down for a photo depending on how bright it is. Then what you're going to want to do is go to contrast and turn your contrast down. I'm just going to turn mine down to 2 since this photo gets dark already pretty much and so that's what that looks like. Next you're going to want to make sure that your color for your picture isn't too orange because disposable cameras air more on the blue side. So I'm going to turn this down to about 1.5ish. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And click the check. You also are going to want to fade it because a lot of the disposable cameras don't get all that contrast so I go to the fade tool and I'm going to turn it up to about 2 or 3 because if you fade it too much then it doesn't even look like a disposable camera it just looks like you're whiting out the image. So that looks good. And then I'm going to add grain so I'm going to go to about I think 1.6 works for this photo. You want like a good mix between like grain and like and not looking too grainy because if you start getting like if you start increasing the grain more it just looks very strange so we're gonna go with about 1.6 for this and then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna add a vignette vignette yeah whatever and I'm gonna make it like for just to darken the image up and then the last step which is probably the most important is to go to the adjust tool and you're gonna want to make the size 3x2 and I'm just gonna adjust it and put Luca in the frame however I want it and you're probably gonna have to play around with this depending on like how you want it you're also probably gonna want to follow photography like the rule of thirds for this so that it looks like not bad if you have to crop your image but yeah so this is what the final product looks like it looks a lot like it was taken on a disposable camera and then if you see that it's like too dark or anything like I think this one's a little too dark I'm gonna change the exposure up to 2 instead and when you click save, this is what it ends up looking like. And I think it looks a lot like it was taken on a disposable camera. So once again, this is pretty much what it looks like when you're finished editing it. I just went back and did a few more edits so that it looked a little bit more like it was taken on a disposable. But I think we totally got the desired outcome, which is pretty cool. The same faces, but I don't